Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're back again with what appears to be the same problem that we did in the previous video, but it's actually different. We have the same pendulum, we have a rod, we have a solid disc, but now the disc is also allowed to rotate about its own axis. And now we need to find two equations of motion. The first equation is exactly the same. We're going to simply do it for the variable theta, and so that gives us the exact same result as we did on the previous video. We don't need to do anything different there. However, now when we also allow the disk to rotate, we have a second variable phi, where the, let's assume that at the rest point that the disk was vertical like this, where this line was vertical, and now it's going to swing back and forth potentially on its axis, and when it does so, we need to add an additional equation of motion to account for that motion. And that's the beauty of the Lagrangian technique. Everything else stays exactly the same. We just now add an additional equation. So instead of finding one, we now find two equations of motion. And again, it's able, we are able to separate those because one is dependent on the variable theta and the other one is dependent on the variable phi. So again, we need to find the kinetic energy. And so for the rotating disk, the kinetic energy is going to be one half the moment of inertia of the rotating disk, so I'll write as dr for rotating disk, times its rotation. So that would be, uh, well, I'm going to write as phi dot squared, because otherwise if I write omega, you might conf confuse that it's the same way omega is there, and it's not, of course. And we know that the the moment of inertia of a spinning disk is uh, one half the mass of the disk times the radius squared and of course times theta dot squared and so the kinetic energy becomes equal to one quarter m r squared phi dot squared. All right, so that's the kinetic energy of the rotating disk. What about the potential energy of the disk? Now, we already accounted for the potential energy of the lifting of the disk from its rest position here to a higher position here when it begins to oscillate. But as it rotates, there is no potential energy gained by its rotation. So therefore, for the rotating disk, the potential energy would be equal to zero. And therefore, the Lagrangian is simply going to be the kinetic energy minus the potential energy, which is one quarter mr squared phi dot squared. And then, to find the equation of motion, we're going to find the partial derivative, the partial of L, with respect to phi dot, which is then going to be equal to one-half mr squared phi dot. And then if we take the time derivative, the ddt of the partial of L with respect to phi dot, that's going to be equal to one-half mr squared phi double dot, and then we realize that if we take the derivative with respect to phi, and I'll write that here, the partial of L with respect to phi, that must be zero because there was no potential energy term that we need to worry about. And therefore, we can then say that the equation of motion, the second equation of motion is that this portion right here, which is equal to one half, and let me get rid of that here, one half m r squared, phi double dot minus zero equals zero, or simply one half m r squared phi double dot is equal to zero. Now notice that if there was no force causing the disk to rotate, then there would not be any acceleration, and therefore there would not be any rotation, which means that you wouldn't expect the disk to rotate on its own. That's based on the equation of motion that we've got. If this wasn't zero, meaning if there was some outside influence, some force causing it to rotate, then of course we would have a force equals one half mr squared phi double dot, and then we'd see rotation of the disk. But what's important to see is that even though it makes it seem like it's a much more difficult problem when we allow the disk to rotate, since the rotation depends on a different angle than this, the Grangian makes it really easy to find a solution to that. And that is how it's done.